not sure how this nation is able to stand all the class coming out of the White House after getting stuck with the President Barack Hussein Obama clan for the past eight years. Ivanka Trump, President Donald Trump's daughter and right-hand woman in the White House just eludes class. Her and her husband, Jared Kushner, are fast becoming the power couple everyone wants to be. Just look at these pictures of their family coming out of Air Force One. Compare the pictures above to this. Ivanka and her husband both work alongside President Trump in the White House. They are rumored to be the two most powerful voices next to Steve Bannon inside the Trump administration. We can see why. Ivanka is a successful businesswoman who created and runs a $460 million company. While her husband Jared is a man who is considered a whiz in the investment banking world. Ivanka Trump's first book came in 2009 with the Trump Card, which consisted of a compilation of light-hearted workplace advice, stories about her father mixed in with some celebrity name-dropping. Now in her second book, Women Who Work, Rewriting the Rules for Success, she goes on to offer honest advice for women on advancing in the workplace while raising a family. She is donating the proceeds from the book sales to charity and has opted not to do any publicity to avoid any suggestion that she is improperly using her White House status to garner publicity. She stepped away from her executive position of both the Trump Organization and her fashion brand before joining her father's presidential administration this past January. She still owns her fashion clothes brand, which has brought on an avalanche of criticism from the usual suspects in the liberal lamestream media but I doubt she cares. Would you if you had her looks, smarts, and family? This is some of the advice she offers in her book, Workplace Tips Then, Trump offers advice on technology, check your Blackberry or iPhone only on the quarter hour, and warns against loose-lipped, ill-considered emails. She gives negotiating tips, such as be aware of your physical presence and understand that people ask for more than they expect to get. She talks about networking and building a brand, based on her jewelry line experience. Now, Trump also discusses how to juggle career and family and live a more purposeful life. She encourages readers to think about how they personally define success, and talks about setting goals, seeking mentors, and establishing boundaries. She writes, Long term, we aren't remembered for how late we stayed at the office, how many buildings we developed or deals we closed. Time management then, Noting she was always looking for an edge, Trump said that as long as I can remember, I've been in the habit of coming into the office on Sundays. She added that while she didn't expect employees to follow suit, you'd be surprised at how quickly your employees will fall in line behind you when you set this kind of example. Now, in a chapter called Work Smarter, Not Harder, she says that when she became a mother she realized that she needed to set healthier boundaries for myself and stick to them. She encourages seeking accommodations at work, like asking for flex time or working remotely. Divorcing ourselves from the reality that we all have full lives isn't useful or sincere. Getting personal then, she dishes about growing up as Donald Trump's daughter. Michael Jackson, at the time a Trump Tower resident, apparently attended a performance of The Nutcracker in which she danced as a child. Another memory, attending a Mike Tyson fight in Atlantic City, New Jersey with her father and watching him try to calm an angry crowd after Tyson knocked out his opponent in 91 seconds. Now, there is less colorful insight, but Trump does share a few family moments, such as practicing her speech for the Republican National Convention with her three children on the couch. Trump, who converted to Judaism when she married Jared Kushner, discusses observing the Jewish Sabbath from sundown Friday to Saturday night, saying it is important to unplug and devote that time to each other. Guest stars then, focusing on business success, Trump includes short essays from a variety of executives, featuring record producer Russell Simmons and Ariana Huffington, founder of the Huffington Post. A guest writer she probably wouldn't include in the new book, former Fox News Channel executive Roger Ailes, who resigned last summer following allegations that he made unwanted sexual advances against women, which he has denied. Now, Trump looks more to academics and experts on women in the workforce, in addition to celebrities and politicians. She quotes Anne-Marie Slaughter, 
who five years ago wrote a popular essay in The Atlantic magazine on why she left a job in the State Department during President Barack Obama's administration to spend more time with her family, and Facebook executive Sheryl Sandberg, who wrote the book Lean In, urging women to take charge of their careers. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.